Hi there, everyone. It's my favorite time of year. It's the first day of fall of Maybon, the autumn equinox, and you'll have to forgive me. I've been a little sick, so I'm a little stuffed out. My voice sounds a little hoarse. So I wanted to show you my altar. I don't have a permanent altar in my home, and you know what? That's okay. You don't have to have a permanent altar. So I like to just to set up wherever I can. Sometimes I rotate it. Hopefully in the next year or so, I'll be turning the spare room into my library and I'll be able to have an altar there. So as you can see, I have some fall items here that all represent Maybon. And Maybon really is a time of change. If you think about it, the leaves on the trees are starting to change. The weather's getting cooler. The days are getting shorter. So it's a good time to do any cleansing to banish negative energy, to think about what you're grateful for. Mabon is also a time of the second harvest, a time of abundance. We're getting ready to head into winter, although here it's 90 degrees still, so it's still pretty warm. The evenings are cool, luckily. I am so ready for the cool weather. I do not like summertime. I am definitely a fall and a winter person. You can see you have my items here that I really like. And you know, and I don't have my altar set up with, you know, something in the north representing earth or in the east representing air, south fire, west water. I just set it up how I liked it. I'm not doing a spell or anything or a ritual. Well, yeah, I'm stuffed up. <laughs> so it's really just how I want it right now. You can see I have my home decorated. And also in this video, I'm going to be going over some books. I get a lot of questions from new witches asking, where do they start? So I'm going to show you some of my favorite books. Okay, so I cleared a little space here, and I just gathered a few of my favorite books. This one, I'm just starting to read, and I've heard a lot of good things about this book. And so far... It's wonderful, so I can't really tell you a lot about it because I haven't gotten that deep into it, but really good. I recommend getting this one. So you don't have to go out and buy all these really big, expensive books. Even little ones like this have a lot of really good basic information for beginners. This one was a really great book if you're interested in getting started on the runes. You know, just simple, it'll probably take you a day to read but it has a lot of good basic information. This is probably one of my favorite books and it's 365 days. Each page is a different day of the year. You can see I have some of my favorites marked and I decided to enjoy this book for an entire year. So every day I read whatever page correlates with the day. So this is a great book. I really enjoyed this one. Here's another one. Great for beginners if you're interested in pendulum use. A lot of really good information in here and easy to understand. I like books that are easy to understand, especially if you're a beginner. And you can hear my cats fighting in the background. Okay, sorry about that. I had to break up my cats. I have three. My youngest is four years old and he wants to play all the time. And then my oldest is 18 years old. She doesn't want to play, so whenever he tries to play, she gets really pissed off, and the hissing and the growling starts. So well, here's a really good book on moon spells. This is one of my favorite books. It has a lot of good information about the different phases of the moon, days of the week that correspond with certain spells. It has spells in this book. Loved, loved, loved this one. This is a great one. I recommend getting this one. Here's another simple book for beginners on candle magic. Again, really small. You can read it in a couple hours. Has a lot of good basic information on candle use. This one I really enjoyed. It's basically, think of it as like almost a recipe book for all you kitchen witches or eclectic witches, green witches, you know, household witchery. There's a lot of good information, things you can do around your house for protection, cleansing, setting up altars, you name it. This is a great book. And like I said, 
The spells in here kind of almost remind me of a recipe. This is a really good one. Next, um, this is a good book that I recommend for all beginning witches, and it is your basic book with pretty much all you need to know. Well, not all you need to know, but a good start for beginners. Now, I know a lot of people don't really care for the author. That's subjective. Sometimes she does get a little preachy, but, you know, just remember that you don't have to follow one certain path. Okay, you can follow your own, but this has a lot of good basic information. You know, it's a pretty good sized book, so it'll take you a while to read. Good place to start. One of my favorite and most useful books is this one, The Secret Language of Birthdays. And it has every day of the year in it. And it tells about all the different signs. So it's really fun. You can look up your birthday, friends' birthdays, family's birthday, your lover's birthday. And it tells a lot of information about all the signs. And lastly, I wanted to talk a little bit about your Book of Shadows, your boss, as some refer to it. And this is one of mine, and it's just a simple journal. And in it, you can write down notes, you can write down spells, um, even dreams, although sometimes witches keep a separate dream journal. So it's just your own personal reference, basically, about your journey as a witch. And I'm not going to show you what's inside. That's only for me to see. And this is one that I have. I have several. And it's always a good idea to keep one. That way, you know, you can write down spells that you liked, ones that worked really well, maybe ones that didn't work so much, how you might change them. So this is your own personal journal. All right, that will do it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Blessed be my fellow witches.